Let's start the experiment by popping balloon with a mic. In this one I will add golden paint. Here we have some emoji, they are made out of marshmallow. I thought it would be cool to squeeze them. Let's now start the main experiment with the watermelon. First of all we need to make a hole with the knife. The watermelon is really heavy, it weighs over 20 pounds. We will try to see if it can resist lava with the help of Coca-Cola and Mentos. That was really good. We need to take out some of it to make space for the mentos. That's my little dog. His name is Bobby. He's one years old and he really likes fruit. It is now time to start the foundry. First of all, we need to cut the copper to make lava. It will take about 20 to 30 minutes to melt. His melting point is 1085 degrees Celsius. Now let's add some mentos inside. I thought it would be cool to add some color. Inside of the 2 liter of Coca-Cola, I've put half vinegar and half Coca-Cola. 
that way I thought the reaction will get bigger. And also we will add salt. I decide to make some hole so that the liquid can escape from there. We need to pour the Coca-Cola really quick. That's why I decide to change the container. Let's turn off the foundry. Lots of smoke is escaping from there. It is now time to see what we have inside. To make it more easy to see, we will add water. Let's take out the molten copper to see what shape it has. As you can see, there is not lots of damage inside of the watermelon. It can hold really well the lava. This copper is still really hot. I need my glove to touch it. Unfortunately, we can't eat the watermelon because it came in contact with copper and that can be really toxic. a giant balloon and we will fill it with water and then after we will cut it with a katana. I hope you guys have enjoyed all of those experiments. If you want to see other videos, you can subscribe. And also tell us in the comment 
what next experiment we should do with our watermelon.